race where there is a decisive victory this morning is the race for Erie County Executive. Democratic incumbent Mark Polencars is looking ahead to his fourth term and what he says is his final as Erie County Executive. Now the race between Polencars and Republican challenger Chrissy Casilio is one we have been following for months. Here's a look at the results as they stand this morning. Polencars with 58% of the vote, Casilio with 40% of the vote, and Daybreak's Lauren Hall joins us live this morning with the acceptance and concession speeches. Good morning, Lauren. Hey, good morning to you, Pete, and good morning to you, Melissa. It was a nasty race at times, but Mark Polencar says his victory was a mandate from the people of Erie County. Polencar says he felt good going into Election Day this year, but he also told us afterwards you really never know what's going to happen until those votes are tallied. The polling was spot on. We felt good. The calls we were making, the doors we were knocking, the response we were getting from the public was good. So I felt good. I mean, one of the things I said on the stage is there's a very vocal minority out there who thinks they represent, think they represent the, the majority of the people of Erie County, and they don't. And Polencars' victory came on his 56th birthday. Chrissy Casilio called him to concede. She told us afterwards she was proud of her first political campaign. I think it was important that we bring to light the issues in Erie County and those issues still exist regardless of the outcome of this election. And if my race just hopefully, you know, would wake people up and let them see things in a different perspective and see what it's like to hear different ideas and a different way of doing things, then I've done my job. And Casolio didn't make any hints about her political future or where she goes from here, but she says she is hoping for success for Erie County and County Executive Polling Cars. On your side this morning, Lauren Hall, Channel 2 News Daybreak. Thank you very much, Lauren. And turning now 